Today, I'm changing out the color of the mirror caps on my Toyota Tacoma. That's right, today I'm gonna change out the mirror caps on the Tacoma over there. Let me show you what I've got, and I did show these a few days ago on the channel, but what I'm going for, and I'm not sure how this is gonna look. It's either gonna look good, or it's gonna look bad. Tacky, maybe, I don't know. We're gonna find out. The good thing is, is they're easy to change out relatively as long as you don't break anything but what i'm going to do i'm going to put these black mirror caps on um because i think it would look cool on the truck now until i've got them on and i can see them i don't know so i'm going to flip you around here we're going to pull off the existing mirror caps i'll show you how to do that all of this can be done with just your bare hands so it's pretty simple um putting them back on can be a bit of a drag though but let me flip you around we'll go ahead and get the existing off pop on the new caps, get it out in the sunlight because that's where it's really gonna show. This, these actually have a metal flaking in them that is blue. Should match the truck, sort of, we'll see. Let's get at it. Now, as I said, you can do this by hand, but uh, it can be rather daunting once you hear the popping and cracking that sometimes you hear. I hope I don't hear any of that. Um, you just kinda have to start on an edge and start pulling. If you look at the black one that's gonna go back on the back of it, give you an idea, it kinda lifts off here and out here. So that's kinda what I'm looking for. And I don't ever remember which edge I start on. I think it might be this edge over here. So let's, uh, let's move you guys around a little bit. You can catch the carnage if there is any. Hopefully there won't be any. I think you start over here on this edge actually. Yeah, I can feel it moving. Like I said, there's a lot of cracking and popping going on. Feels like we have the back off already. It's really just the center. I'm trying to do this without breaking anything. That's why I'm kind of taking my time. Hopefully we didn't break anything. It doesn't appear that we did, uh, which is good. You can see the back of it here. Here's the latches it goes down into, the little latches on the side. I'm sure there's a, uh, a bona fide trick to this, and I'm guessing it's probably back here on this back part um, once you get uh, things released. I'm sure you probably put these hooks on first and then down and then it just kind of pushes in on the left. I'm not exactly sure or through this, actually through this little hole here. And then I think you probably push this way to get everything else mounted in. It feels like it gives a little bit that way. So you kind of want to hook this, which means you want to pull it over this way and then out and up. I guess that's the best I can figure it. So anyway, we've got it off. Uh, nothing broken, fortunately. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the new one on, see what it looks like. Okay, here we go. We're going to kind of test out my theory a little bit. Again, I think really what you want to do... Sort of kind of latch those in on the back because they do actually latch over back here. So let's try that. It looks pretty cool, I think, even though we don't really have it on yet. Well, oh, thought we had it. I think we did.
All right. That's actually all there is to it. What do you think? What do you think of that? I'm not exactly sure myself. Uh, we have to do the other side. Let's go ahead and take a look here from the front. There you guys can maybe get a little idea of what's, what it's going to look like. Uh, I'm not sure, but let's go over and do the driver's side over there. Go ahead and pull that one off. Pull these up. So we kind of go there and then across the top. And it just pulls right off like that. Um, wow, hopefully nothing broke. That came off way easier than the other side, but it's off, so no issue there. Okay, that's it. We've got it on. Let's take a look from the front. Come back up here so you guys can see. That's what it looks like. Get both mirrors in the shot. Actually, it would help if the other mirror was, you know, pulled out so you could see it. There. So, that's, uh, that's the look from the front. Um, how about the side? Let's go over here. Just trying to get different angles. I know it's kind of dark in here, so it's kind of hard to see. I think, and what I'm seeing right now, if you look here, obviously, it's got the black mirror, but we still have the blue door handles. So I'm thinking maybe it needs blue or black rather door handles, which I have, by the way. Let me grab one and show you guys what that might look like. Now that we actually have the mirrors on there. Okay. There's a little bit of a look. I know it's hard to tell. Uh, with the black handles. So what do you think? Does it need the black handles? Yeah, I'm almost thinking it would. Um, I'm curious what you guys have to say. What do you think of the look all together? Again, I can change it back. You know, if I don't like it, I'll put it back the way that it was. It's not that big a deal. I'm a little more involved to change the door handles, at least the rear door handles. So that's going to be a little harder change, but can be done. So there you have it. What do you think? I don't know. I'm going to have to live with it for a little bit and see what I, if I like it. Um, I don't know that having, again, just the black mirrors on is enough. Um, maybe it is. I don't know. Like I say, i got to live with it for a little bit and see. Um, but I am leaning towards uh, black door handles. Um, I don't know. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you like the black mirrors? Um, do you not like the black mirrors? Do you think that the black handles should be on? Or do you think it should just be all blue like it was before? You know, put the uh, blue covers back on, which I could. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Also, shameless plug, if you haven't before and you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motion JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And please hit that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.